Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this week's video. Uh, this week is going to be a little different. Uh, we're sad to report that Levina Yoder, uh, or known to us as Grandmama, uh, passed away yesterday. She passed away peacefully uh, here at her home uh, on the farm where she uh, spent 60 some years. Uh, it's kind of hard to put all your thoughts and emotions and memories into words. Uh, Grandmama was a, a loving and kind lady, a very hardworking lady, and uh, she was quite instrumental in, uh, in helping to get this farm uh, going, um, starting the farm. Uh, she did a lot of behind the scenes uh, type of stuff, and she was involved uh, a lot even in, uh, in chores and so forth during the early years uh, when, when Granddaddy worked off the farm. Grandmama grew up out west, and uh, it often seems um, like her grit and uh, determination and her work ethic uh, must have had something to do with those uh, western pioneer roots, and uh, I think they served her well uh, as they carved out a farm here uh, in, in Virginia. Up until a few years ago, uh, she was helping in the greenhouses. She did. Uh, some of the plant work and um, it was it was hard for her to do sometimes her her fingers were somewhat gnarled uh, she had arthritis um, but even in, uh, up until a few years ago she was involved uh, in some of the chores here on the farm you know when you um, grow up with someone and interact with with them uh, on a farm a lot of your memories are associated with with places or, or things on the farm and I think uh, we'll have a lot of that in the days to come. I, even today I went to um, to fork in some hay and I grabbed a pitchfork and, and went and moved the hay and I looked down at it and it had a yellow handle and uh, Grandmama always marked her tools with, with yellow paint and uh, so that was her pitchfork and uh, I think there'll be many moments like that in the days to come. I think uh, Grandmama was quite pleased um, to see people come out to the farm uh, during the str you know, spring uh, strawberry season and in the fall too. Uh, she would sometimes come out and just kind of look around and uh, look at the people. Uh, maybe some of you saw her and um, I think it, it gave her a lot of joy to see people coming out and enjoying the farm, uh, enjoying a a place that she loved and uh, especially seeing families uh, come out here and enjoy the the open space. Now, somehow it seems like the the timing is is almost fitting. Um, Grandmama loved flowers and I think she uh, enjoyed springtime and uh, you know the other day I saw one of the first daffodils uh, starting to bloom and somehow it seems appropriate and fitting that she gets a couple uh, weeks jump on spring as uh, the place where she is. Uh, there are a lot of flowers blooming. So Grandmama was uh, dearly loved and uh, she's going to be greatly missed by all of us. Uh, her, her life um, of service and her faith were an inspiration and a good example for all of us and we appreciate that. And uh, maybe as you drive in the uh, lane this spring uh, to pick strawberries and you uh, see the little brown house where she uh, spent the last years of her life and you see uh, her flowers blooming, uh, you can think of her and remember her as well.